In this video, I'm gonna walk you through how to set up your free stream Max for the first time and how to run an update. So when you power on your device, this is the screen it will bring you to. The very first thing you have to do is connect to the internet. If you're connecting by Wi-Fi, just scroll over to settings in the upper right. Scroll down to network and then choose your Wi-Fi and make sure your Wi-Fi device is turned on and then you'll choose your network and plug in the password. So once you've connected to the internet, just hit the back button on the remote. And while you're on this page, your box will be defaulted to Pacific time. Uh, right underneath network, you can go to date and time. Go to time, set the time zone, and set it to Eastern Standard Time or your local or your local time zone. So to get back to the home page, just hit the back button on the remote. And now that we're connected to the internet, you should have updated the time. Uh, let's continue with the build. So the first time you're on this page, whenever you're on this page, always click the big button in the middle that says Max. Always click continue. Never cancel the plan and never do a factory data reset. If you ever cancel the plan or do a factory data reset, it's gonna log you out of our servers and it's gonna ask you for a monthly fee. Now we can fix that for you if it does happen. It can just take anywhere from 24 to 72 hours to fix. Uh, just never cancel the plan and never do a factory data reset. So always click continue. And now that we're on this page, what we have to do is install the operating system. We need to update the box. Just go to the big green button that says update. Click OK to download. And right now we'll let it just download the operating system and then we'll be able to download the build. So this should just take a minute. Now we do recommend that you have at least 30 megabits per second. Um, after this video, uh, you can check our blog or our YouTube channel and you can see a watch a video on how to update, how to run a speed test. If it prompts you to install any applications, always click install in the lower right. Once it's done installing, you're always gonna to wanna to click done in the lower left. So never open the file, always click done. Now click okay on the remote and it will prompt you to update the box. So click here to update and install. I agree. Now this will just take about three to five minutes for it to download, depending on your internet speed. If you, I'm gonna cut to the end. If you're watching this video during the first time setup, I'd recommend pausing the video and resuming when your download is complete. Now that your build is successfully installed, uh, we're gonna launch it for the first time. So click yes. and then click continue. Allow access. While this is preparing for the first run, uh, this is the only time you will have to go through this process. Um, the only time you will have to do this again is when the box needs to be updated. Um, when the box does need to be updated, we'll send everybody an email, uh, but only do this the first time you set it up. And this brings you into the media center. Wait for, once you enter the media center, wait for everything to load at the top of the screen. And once you get that pop-up box, uh, just click okay and you'll be able to browse through and everything will be loaded. To watch our other videos, 
on how to navigate the free stream itself, uh, please go to our blog and I'd recommend watching what is Prime Streams. Uh, but yeah, that's it for now. If you have any questions, you can chat with us right on the website or post your comments to Facebook.